Hello everyone, today I'm gonna edit a couple more photos from my recent shoot. So let's get started. The first one I'm gonna uh, focus on this uh, bouquet shoot. Uh, behind her is a Christmas tree, and then in front I use the prism. And this shot was shot uh, using XT3 Fujifilm 56mm f1.2. So I don't need a lot of uh, light uh, tone for this one. And if you like, I can just have 0.2, like 1.7 for HB2. But mostly, I'm just gonna use the other uh, feature on the Visco. I'm using Visco app to edit, and all my photos are shot in the JPEG only. So I only uh, modify a little bit uh, for all my photos. And I'm gonna get a little bit of the cold tone, a little bit uh, contrast. And then you can crop differently. So you can remain the uh, position on the face on the top third area like that. Or you want to crop it closer. Um, so let me save this one. Save, save as the actual size. A lot of people ask how I get the sharp images on the Instagram. So I just save the actual size for it. And this one also, so I use the prism in front of the lens on the lower half corner. If you search my name, Sing Prism, uh, you can find my other prism videos. So I don't need a lot of uh, the filter for this uh, edit. I just need slightly a little bit more contrast, sharpen a little bit, reduce the tone, uh, highlight, save, contrast add a little bit more. And uh, uh, the white balance, uh, the temperature, make it colder, a little bit colder. And basically, this one is uh, looks pretty good to me, so I don't need a lot. So save, save as the actual size for this one. And the uh, next one, so it's similar. So I'm just gonna copy and paste, paste it to here, and then that's it. So. I can just crop it closer, 4x5 Instagram crop, 4x5 ratio, crop it 4x5 right here. And then that's it, save, save as the camera to the camera roll in iPhone 7 Plus, in my iPhone 7 Plus. I use the uh, SD card reader as I posted in my community tab in the channel, and um, or I use the, uh, the Dropbox. So this next one, uh, I shot with Christina and we were in front of the museum in Sacramento and I'm gonna use the uh, E6 or 06. A lot of people ask how I got those tone. I'm gonna just show you how I got the tone the, for the one that I posted. So I'm gonna use 06 and then it's kind of like retro uh, film style. Uh, you can check it out, the uh, Visco Cam app i don't do the subscription x uh, thing i just do the regular visco cam and then i bought those filter that i like so i i found that the 06 is pretty good for this one and this uh, was shot on the gfx 50r camera and i already returned the camera because uh, fujifilm only sent me for one month to test so i'm gonna um go to the next one and then go to the 06. So 06, it has, as you can see, it has a little bit of vintage uh, style to it. Slightly adjust the highlight save, slightly increase the um, sharpening a little bit. Adjust the balance of the rotation, slightly adjust the cropping. So that's it. So I save save as the camera and then the uh, actual size for this one. And the next one, so it's similar. So I'm just gonna copy and then paste to here to see how the lighting is coming. And if you don't want too strong, you can just make it back to the 50%. Increase, you can, if your fee is more brighter, like brighter overall consistency, you can just increase the exposure a little bit and the adjustment so i'm gonna adjust crop the top window make sure the head is on the th third area of the grid of the um crop cropping ratio so next one 
the next one so let me refresh the um, rotation a little bit and then because let me save and then copy the previous tone and then paste it back to here so I paste the similar tone and I, I want to make it colder for this one just just for variety so I make it colder and then the tone and I adjust a little bit more seems a little bit too bright to me so I'm just make it slightly darker and I can see the building lines in the back just make sure those vertical lines are perpendicular to the ground so this one and then I want to save this one also I just for variety purpose I can just try the C9 for this one just just to show you some different things C9 uh, is a chromatic uh, chrome frame style so you can just use a C9 in the visco cam app sharpen a little bit and then rotate a little bit just make sure the building is nicely aligned I think the composition right now is pretty good and I'm gonna save save as the camera actual size and the next one so next one this one is similar to the previous one so I'm just gonna copy the edit come back here and then paste it and I feel like it's too dark so not all the same lighting is applied to every photo so that one was too dark and then it's too cold to me so I'm just adding some warmth to the photograph and save save as the actual size okay so the next one with Becca in the temple coffee so I'm gonna use the E5 for this one because it has a nice brown tone so I use the E5 for this one and I'm going to increase the contrast, sharpen a little bit and then reduce the exposure a little bit. So overall the composition is pretty good already so I'm just going to save the actual size for this. And this one is the original uh, color and I'm going to use the E5 but not too much. I think I like the pole rest pro neg uh, negative high pro neg high so it's pretty good for me so i will test a couple more shots with this uh, uh profile frame profile fuji frame frame simulation mode so i i feel like i i like that um pretty good so i will do this last one just let it load a little bit so i just do a minor edit and then increase the exposure contrast a little bit and then reduce the highlight safe so as you can see it has a little bit of warm to it uh, because of the um, E5 a little bit of brown tone in the back so I'm gonna adjust back a little bit to here yep Okay, so that's my edit. It's not too much a uh, difference than the original photo because I like the original tone already. So I just slightly added the contrast. So thank you so much for watching. So today I'm gonna edit a couple more picture uh, from my recent suits. And stay tuned for more photos coming up and behind the scene video. Uh, I will have a Sony camera back from the rental and I will compare the some bokeh, some more bokeh back. Thank you so much. Bye.